People of Earth! It's not really a, I'm not really an alien. I'm a citizen now. Ah, anyway. <laughs> So, great news, everybody. I found my watch. Do you remember last night? Yes, I couldn't find my watch. Here it is. I found it. I found my watch. Do you know where it was? In my dog. No, in its poop. It was in its poop. It was. I've got a German Shepherd. He wouldn't eat my watch. He'd wear it. He would. He'd shave a little area around his front paw and wear it, put on a little hat and invade somewhere. That's what he'd do. <laughs> he even barks in a very strange way. He's kind of like, woof. <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> Snarl. <laughs> anyway, my dog's fine. I found my watch. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt is on the show and Jim Parsons is on the show. All is well. All is well. like movements to end your applause. Please sit down, relax. I know my tie is enormous tonight. Look at how my tie is tonight. I'm like, wait. I can come out just wearing this tie. That's the excuse I like network TV, cable TV. I'm coming, cable. I'm coming. It's a great day for America, everybody. It is, yes, it is. It is a great day for Sarah Palin. She has been practicing for the big debate tomorrow night. Apparently, it's going very well. The Palin staff has tried to find her a stand-in to pretend to be Joe Biden, but all, so far, all they've come up with is a tree stump. <laughs> Which actually sounds about right. John McCain said that he turns to Sarah Palin for foreign policy advice, and then he turns to his wife, Cindy, to get her to cut the meat. <laughs> That's how she got that wrist thing, isn't it? Uh, today, the FDA approved a patch that prevents nausea. What you do is the patch goes over your eyes any time the view is on TV. <laughs> I'm kidding, these girls are great. Now, it was, it was... I just got a little thing in my teeth there, I don't know what it was. Mm, it was a nut. <laughs> Tasty, too. Um, I used to find stuff in my teeth all the time. And then I came to America, I got my teeth fixed, and there's no room in there for other stuff now. It used to be back in the old country, there were holes and places where you could hide stuff. You know, you could put your lunch for the rest of the day, maybe pack an extra pair of shorts or something. <laughs> now I have to carry a purse. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a very, it was a very scary thing happened in Washington today. They found a hand grenade in a, in a park. And at first, everybody thought the worst, and then it turns out Cheney just went for a walk and it fell out of his pocket. <laughs> uh, I got plenty more. Uh, it's a, a sad day, though, I, I think, really, for America today, because, um, you know, I, I think a sad day for everyone who likes uh, junk in the trunk. Because... Uh, <laughs> You know, Kim Kardashian was booted off Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> I'm, I'm very upset. Right now, Sir mix a -Law is devastated. <laughs> I like Kim's butt and I cannot lie. She's got the ass of a ten-foot guy. But, 
She got thrown off Dancing with the Stars because she was dancing the foxtrot while her ass was doing the cha-cha. And I... <laughs> which is against the rules. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't live by your rules. Oh, what the heck? I saw her get voted off. It was very emotional. The uncontrollable sobbing, the tear-stained gown. And that was just me watching the show. I don't know how she had it. <laughs> she was great, though. I don't know why she was voted off. Do we have a clip of Kim Kardashian's final number on Dancing with the Stars? Yeah, come on! <laughs> Daddy likes. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> she's uh, she's not the only booty in the news today, though, because there's that you, you hear about the pirates. The, these pirates have taken over a cargo ship off the coast of Somalia. Look, there's a headline about it. Look, pirates hijack Somali ship. There you are. Now, right now, the U.S. Navy has the thing surrounded, but the pirates aren't giving out without a fight. You know, you'll, you'll never arrest me and all that. And. The, <laughs> But this is really happening. Pirates in this day and age, the standoff with the pirates is in the Western Indian Ocean, which is a very dangerous part of the world nowadays. It's considered the big pirate hotspot. <laughs> Before that, the biggest pirate hotspot was a club up in Hollywood Boulevard <laughs> called the Poop Deck. It was great. <laughs> Excellent mojitos. <laughs> Excellent mojito. <laughs> anyway, uh, the pirates have made headlines, of course, around the world, which is not a good idea if you're a pirate. Now, the best thing, if you're a pirate, the best thing is stay under the radar. It's very, you know, because people will see you coming. And it's difficult to keep a low profile, of course, with a parrot on your shoulder and a hook for a hand. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. <laughs> I used to dance under the name Long John. <laughs> Actually, up at the poop deck every Thursday <laughs> night. Through Saturday. <laughs> That's right, I'm coming, Cable. I... <laughs> anyway, the reason the US Navy has surrounded the ship that the pirates are on, because uh, they didn't just take over any ship, these pirates. This ship is full of Russian tanks. Aha! <laughs> See, and you can't have pirates having tanks. That's not a good idea. <laughs> the, and what the pirates are doing is they're, they want a ransom. They started off, they wanted a $45 million ransom and they would give the ship back. Then it went down to $20 million, and now it's down to $5 million. So I'm thinking that my agent is working for the pirates. <laughs> Using the same strategy as he used with CBS. <laughs> Coming, Cable. <laughs> anyway, pirates, uh, you know, I think the pirates, when they got in there, they didn't expect to find Russian tanks. They probably went, oh, grr, oh no, grr. I was thinking we'd get piratey things, you know, swords, uh, earrings, maybe, something like that, a parrot or two. But no, the pirates, see, what the pirates do, they make their money these days from stealing electronic goods. That's true. What they do is they target ships that transport things like the computers and iPods. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the pirates do with the iPods. Uh, download sea shanties, I suppose. <laughs> oh, I love this one. We're doing home right at empty. Or anything by um, R.E.M. or... Uh, <laughs> Gnarls Bartley. They, they love Gnarls Bartley. Arr. Anyway, stealing iPods is not a good idea because if you're a pirate, you bury your treasure. And you bury the iPods, you come back a couple of months later, Apple's come out with a new iPod, and you've got just a big pile of crap. It won't work. You know, though, when I was younger, I seriously thought I, I, would, I, thought I would be a sailor. And then I realized I just wanted to wear the outfit. But a lot of people I grew up with, and I did, every Thursday through Saturday at the poop deck. A lot of people I grew up with who joined the Merchant Marines. It was the only way out of our neighborhood, really. I can't imagine it. I mean, I nearly did it. And then I think, no, I mean, all that time at sea, no ladies, hundreds of muscly guys everywhere. There's a downside to it, too, though. There's a <laughs> I'm kidding. Am I? Who knows? <laughs> Who cares? Anyway, what the real pirates, uh, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Pirates, they don't look like Orlando Bloom, you know. They don't. <laughs>
<laughs> people think they're 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 scary looking, you know. But you know they are scary looking. They're not cute like uh, Orlando Bloom. He's like you know he's not a pirate. He's, he's lovely. <laughs> People think Captain Crunch is a pirate. He's not a pirate. He's a legitimate naval officer who makes great cereal. That's right, I said it. Take that, Frankenberry, you pink bitch. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. We'll take a break when we right back, everybody. White Trash Style Tips with Tim Gunn. White Trash. Tiny cut-off jean shorts never go out of style, but ladies, show some restraint with the cut. It's not a denim bikini and should cover up more than just your hoo-ha. Would you like to turn around, Vanessa? So why not class it up and back with a thong riding up and a four-color tramp stamp? The French have a phrase for it, vachement bondant, which roughly translates as, break me off a piece of that. Tim Gunn is never wrong. Remember I was talking about pirates, remember that? Before the commercials. Weren't the commercials great, by the way? One thing I love about CBS is your ability to have somebody sell something to you every 12 to 12 and a half minutes. <laughs> I was talking about pirates, of course. Do we, uh, do we have a picture of a real pirate? That's a real pirate. That's, uh, that's Blackbeard there. He was an English pirate from the 8th century. He, what he did, he used to do, he would, he would weave lit matches into his beard. I think he lit them once they were in his beard. He didn't light them and then try and put them in his beard. That would be, like, <laughs> insane. You know, you'd have to light them, you know, put them in your beard and then light them. I have weaved lit matches into my hair. <laughs> not, not on my head, obviously. <laughs> Burn in hell, pubic lice. Anyway, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, Blackbeard did it to, to look ferocious to his enemies. People were like, oh, that guy's got a fiery beard. You know, and he must have looked uh, really horrifying. You know, that hair, that eye patch. You imagine a giant one-eyed monster surrounded, you know, with black curly hair lunging at you. <laughs> Must be horrifying. <laughs> Do you know the most expensive porno movie ever made was, uh, it was a pirate-themed uh, porno movie. It was called Pirates. Sure. I, I believe. I accidentally rented it once, 12 times. <laughs> but the porn industry isn't big in subtext, you know. I haven't seen the movie, but you can guess the dialogue in porn on a pirate ship. Oh, why don't you walk this plank? I mean, it's all that. <laughs> Want to see my other wooden leg? Ha <laughs> ha! Who ordered pizza on the pirate ship? You know, it's not. <laughs> Just saying, do you want to do an email? Okay, let's get time. Well, let's do a quick email then. Come on. There's always time for email. Great to read them is our duty. We'll hoist the sails and drink some rum. I'm wondering, wondering your duty. Duty. Yo ho, yo ho, and a light for the yard. Do -de 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 <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, here's one. Uh, this is from Abby in uh, Wanaki in Wisconsin. Wanaki. Did I say it right? Wanaki, Wisconsin, it sounds right. Uh, anyway, this is from Abby. She says, Dear Craig, what should I be for Halloween this year? Hmm, Abby. Oh, an Abby. Dress up as a place where monks live. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I know what you can do. Get some matches and weave them into your hair. <laughs> You'll scare the kids. <laughs> do you know, I, uh, listen, I've still got election fever. I, I haven't been sleeping. Last night, you know, I, I eventually I fell asleep. I had a dream that I was the moderator of the vice presidential debate. <laughs> It was in my dream. I was dreaming that was like I was the guy. It was, oh, it was really freaky. Do we have a clip of my dream? 
Good evening. I am Craig Ferguson, the moderator of the vice presidential debate. Let's meet our candidates. For the Republicans, Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. Hello, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here with you. <laughs> Let's begin, Governor Palin. Uh, first question. Has anyone ever told you you look like a naughty librarian? <laughs> Wait. Wait, wait, wait. You haven't even introduced me yet. All right, all right, right. Who the hell are you again? Uh, I'm Senator Joe Biden, the guy running against Sarah Palin. Ooh, Sarah Palin. <laughs> I love Sarah Palin. Okay, look, hey, I understand this is your dream and all, but I was still told you wouldn't play favorites. No, you're, you're absolutely right. I promise I'll be more professional. Uh, next question. Governor Palin, can you show us a little more cleavage? <laughs> Mr. Ferguson, I'm appalled that you didn't ask sooner. Slower. Slower. Okay, oh, wait a minute. Come on. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, stop it. You I don't know. I don't know. I'm actually okay with the way it's going. Look, you, been... you haven't asked me a question yet. Oh, okay, okay, Senator Biden. Could you possibly referee a pillow fight between me and Governor Palin? Wait, I can't have a pillow fight with my glasses on. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Oh! 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 No, I demand we get back to the issues. Listen, Biden, you're lucky you're even in my dream. I never fantasize about man. Oh, really? Then why am I wearing this thong? Hey! Whoa! It's a giant banana. What the hell are you doing here? It's your dream. I guess I represent your love of big fruits. A sarcastic banana? This isn't a dream, it's a nightmare. Damn you, subconscious. <laughs> That's all the time we have. Join me for my dream next week when I'll dream about the McCain-Obama presidential mud wrestling match. All right, come on. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm not really thinking, but I'm doing that thing pretending that I'm thinking so that women will be interested in me. <laughs> Keanu Reeves made a career out of this. Come on! What's he really thinking? Nothing at all. <laughs> Am I the only one? Like, this is true. Like, I, 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 like, sometimes when you talk... But women, when you're talking to your girlfriends and they're talking about a guy they've met, and you go, you know, he said that he didn't want to go out with me. What do you think he means by that? <laughs> And then they like talk for a long time about what he meant by that. I think I know what he meant by that. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a great big sexy star. She stars in the CBS hit Ghost Whisperer. It's Friday nights at eight o'clock. Take a look at that. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. seen you in a long time. Oh, yeah? What are you ripping up? Just... You just get started. Just I'm going to be ripping rid like crazy. <laughs> I'm getting a little funky tonight. Oh, nice. No, not really. <laughs> hey, how's your foot? You had a it's, sore foot the last time you were here. It's good. Look, there it is. It's yeah, nice. it's all right. And, <laughs> it's better. And is it better all the way up your leg? It is. Yes, thank you. <laughs> well. That's, 
That's awesome. It's quite a question. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you know, I like to know that your legs are fine. They are, thank you. They've always been fine with me. Oh. <laughs> How are... Oh, well, I, I don't mean to concentrate on your legs. There's other areas that I enjoy immensely as well. What about the uh, Ghost Whisperer show? How's that going? It's, it looks very exciting. It's going great. Yeah. Thank what you. is it, like 25 years it's been on now? What's that? <laughs> 25. 25 yeah. years? Yes. Well, that must be a record yeah. now. That's as long as Andy Rooney or something, isn't it? <laughs> It's doing well. We're in our fourth season. Fourth, fourth yeah. season, mm -hmm. yeah. Have you had Andy Rooney on? I haven't, no. <laughs> I've become fascinated with him, Andy Why? Rooney. Why? Tell me. Well, because he gets so irate about nothing at all. Mm. Like, I was watching him the other night and he got, he had some kitchen implements, like the stuff he'd found in his kitchen. He's going, why do I have these in my house? I'm like, well, you're, gonna, you're the only one that can answer that question, Andy. But this is primetime TV and he's like, oh, I've got crazy crap in my kitchen. And I'm like, you're... Barking. Do you never watch Andy? And I get a little upset in my kitchen too, so I really? can understand. Do you cook? Are you a big... I do. I love to cook. Do you really? What do you make? I do. I um, I love to make shrimp scampi, shrimp and I make scampi. a really good filet mignon and mashed potatoes. That's proper food. Yes. Yes, I like that. So you're not one of them Hollywood vegetarians. No, no. <laughs> wow. Now, what is the shrimp scampi? I thought scampi was separate from shrimp. I thought a scampi was not I thought a scampi was like a scampi scampered across the ocean and a shrimp was just like no. a little no? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> scampi is the way that the shrimp is prepared in that special sauce with the pasta and the thing. Oh. I think. <laughs> is it are you well it might be that. I do do you watch the, the food shows on the television? I love them. I sometimes I right. do, yeah. What, I like what? the Iron Chef. Yeah, you know, everybody watches that, but I unfortunately don't speak Japanese. <laughs> you have a huge career in Japan, don't you? I used to, yeah. Do you know anymore? I don't know. I haven't checked in in a while. Oh, are, you, <laughs> are you the Japanese Sanjaya? You know really? what? I really? think so. No, you should go and, and keep it up. I, you know? I enjoy it there. I enjoy it yeah. there. I really do. You it's like nice. Their, have uh, you the, been? Yeah, no, no. You no. haven't? No, you should no. go. Tokyo's I, great. I've got to be here. It's a, Well... <laughs> To uh, Tokyo, I, I'd love to, I'd love to go to Japan. You should go. It's, it's it. a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I think you'd enjoy it. Really? Yeah. Do you enjoy the raw fish? Um, some of it. I'm very picky when it comes to sushi. You're not an adventurous eater. You don't eat no. the uh, the the oily octopus no. poison no. blow dart. No, fish. the jellyfish stuff. Yeah, no, no. yeah. No, they tried to give me that when I was there, and I was. Like, they tried no. to give everyone that apparently. Yeah. 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 No, you got to watch. I that. was in Thailand once, and they tried to feed me grub worms. And blood clot soup. They were like, it's good for your digestion. No, no, blood clot soup, I won't hear a word against. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> In Scotland, they make... Uh, That's what, they, what I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called black pudding. Blood, <laughs> blood pudding it is. It's basically, it's, it's uh, a sausage made out of blood. Blood yeah. sausage, in fact. No, thanks. What's wrong with you? I thought you weren't one of them vegetarians. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm not a... I don't eat blood. That's Everyone's just... doing it. It's the new thing. It's the... Uh, <laughs> no, it's the new diet in Hollywood since that HBO did that vampire show. Everybody's gone crazy. I just saw that did show. You it's like terrifying. It? It's pretty scary. It's really scary. Do you know what I think is an extra good bar? The, the, you know the, the girl that plays the, the kind of... Yes. Suki? Yes. Right. Well... You know she has a vampire boyfriend? Yes. And in real life, that's her real boyfriend. That's what I thought. But he's not a vampire. He's not really. <laughs> he's just an actor, pretending to be a vampire. But for a minute there, I was like... <gasps> I love that they serve the different kinds of blood in that show in beer bottles. Yeah. That's my favorite thing about that show. And there's a vampire bar. And they're like, yeah, we're all going to the vampire bar. Let's go. Hang I on. think it might be a, an allegory or a metaphor for something. You think? Nah. <laughs> nah, not at all. Now listen, what, what happens on the uh, on the ghost uh, whispering show uh, this year? Uh, oh, really? we've got big stuff. Oh, really? Nothing that I can tell you. Oh, great. But really, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It's we uh, we are doing our biggest storyline that we've ever done on the show, and I think it's going to shock people. It's going to be really, really good. So you should is just there, watch. Is there nudity? <laughs> <laughs> nudity from beyond the grave, though. You know. Sure. Yes, sure. Awesome. Yeah. I had a dream once. <laughs> Dream and the I, don't, big isn't it amazing that the technology now they can actually have a clip of your dream? <laughs> I mean, who knew about that? That you know, I cell phones. That's what I blame. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you have a cell phone? Uh, I do. Do you do you text people? Do you go I OMG? Do. OMG. I, I love it. What? The LOL, laugh out loud. BTW is the new one, by the way. All oh, right. Yeah. BLT. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a, 
<laughs> I love it. Do you use that stuff? I, I can't. I've got big sausagey fingers. And I, uh... My mom actually used it the other day. It was really funny. She was like, O-M-G. And I was like, Mom. <laughs> I'm like, Mom. I don't think you want to be saying that. And it was really funny. It really made now, me laugh. Now, let me ask you this question, America's uh, wholesome, perky sweetheart. What does O-M-G mean? It means, oh, my foolish golly. Ah! And yeah. that's what makes you broadcastable every time. <laughs> the lovely Jennifer, love you, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> My next guest is an actor. He stars in the uh, Big Bang Theory. I saw a movie called The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> Although that was no theory. <laughs> they had put it into practice. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. <laughs> I know. Uh, but the Big Bang Theory is a different one. It's on CBS uh, at 8 p.m. on Mondays. Take a look at this. The lovely Jim Parsons, everybody. Jim Parsons. <laughs> Welcome, Jim. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Uh, it's lovely to finally meet you, and congratulations on your show. The the uh, I appreciate that. Thank it's you. a huge success. On is the it? CB yes. It's a huge success. Isn't that fantastic? It's wonderful. Have you spent? Have you started buying big houses and fancy no, cars? And no, no, I have not anything fancy. <laughs> It's not that I haven't bought anything, but I do. I um, I don't care for shopping, uh -huh. and specifically for clothing, and um, and and I don't. I'm very uh, nervous. It's my first late night. And, oh uh, no, no, thank you. Look, we're not, not in a bad there's some, way. There's some. No, there's there, there's some water. Why is it really new? <laughs> What, with People water? drink out of these. Other guys oh, drink yeah, out yeah, of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, but they're celebrities. They don't have cooties. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, let me get you something to reassure you. Look, there's a pen. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I do use these a lot, actually. Uh, no, you can't keep it. It's just for oh, being well, here. Oh, thank you. Uh, I have a lot at home. Feather. That's all I got, really. Uh, this is good, though. I didn't wear any color right. uh, to speak of, so this is That's good. Don't nice. hold it next to your pee, -pee I feel, or, uh, Okay. <laughs> God's sakes, Jim. That helped. Thank right. you no, very that's much. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, you've never been on a talk show before. No, no, you're my very first. Wow. Yes. I'm well, you'll always remember your first. I they do. Say. Yeah. I really will. Yeah. What? Well, I, I, do you ever watch the talk shows? Do you watch Larry? I do. He's, oh, he's good. I watch. I watch a lot of the talk shows. I've watched you. Oh no, you haven't. I, yes, I have. And in fact, I was wondering: is it a running thing, or, or just once? I saw Amy Sedaris talk about a um, imaginary co-host. Yes, Davis? I used to. I used to have an imaginary co-host, and he's gone. He's gone now. Yeah. No, I, I had, an, I, I had an imaginary co-host who actually ran off with Amy Sedaris. Oh, uh, <laughs> she talked to him. Well, she talked. She said she listened to him, and that's oh. the difference. You see, I only oh. talked. I didn't listen. Amy this is listened getting to into him. that Lost territory with that man that may or may not. You watch Lost? No. Well, I don't know. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm a big grown-up man. Oh, good for nah, you. I don't watch it. Good for you. Do you watch other networks? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm CBS not a Nielsen family, so nobody knows. Right. The Neil, it's only one family, the Nielsens. Yes, they count that's for a lot. The, that's, it's only, it's, a, it's about, there's, there's a mom and pop Nielsen, yes. three or four kids, and they, whatever they watch, America loves. They, they shape our opinions. They the do? Nielsens. Have you, um, <laughs> are you having a nice time on the show? You seem Your quite, show? No, no, no. They, oh, Big Bang. They, they, um, yeah, I'm having a nice time here too. I really, I got a. You gave me a mug. I don't know if you know if you know. I got yes, a mug. Yes, yes. No, I, you get one of these. Well, please. and what's funny is I looked at the bottom of it because we have mugs from our show, and they say on it, uh, "Not dishwasher safe." And I thought, well, that's probably the print that will come off. And so I immediately, I enjoy drinking coffee, and I thought, well, I don't want to. I won't drink out of it if it's not dishwasher safe. So look at the bottom. It doesn't say it's not dishwasher safe, but it says it contains things that may cause birth defects. <laughs> I'm, I'm not with child, but I. <laughs> 
<laughs> what these, could these, there these be cups? in there? Yes. Really? Yours doesn't have the new sticker on it because you've been using it. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> really? Yes. I should have brought it. I didn't even think. <laughs> give me, give me a cup. Give me a cup. You Quickly. don't want. What no. if I want water later? <laughs> no, no, don't. no. No. You, you mustn't. Don't drink out of that. These. They're coming. No, 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 put them away. They're coming with it. It has the sticker on it, it said. Yeah. And now they're not studio safe. <laughs> well, technically, 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 this is not a studio. Oh. No, well, what you... No, no is, it's not. It's actually, a nice size. No, you know what this is? Uh, this is actually an old pho photographic dark room. Seriously? Yeah, absolutely. It was used in the... Remember when they used to develop... You probably yeah. remember this. They used to develop... They had something called film, and they made it on film. <laughs> it's before the iPods and everything, and they used to develop... The, and, that, and now they turn... Of course, and they've got the big windows that overlook the city, so that helped. <laughs> <laughs> I really... I did ask before I came I said, now, is that... That's Los Angeles, right? Yes, yeah. Well, okay. technically, it's a photograph of Los Angeles. Yes, I hear that. You should have seen the size of the camera they I have used, no doubt. Though, I, mean. I have no doubt. <laughs> Do you know, uh, can you point to any landmark out there? Though? Yes, I can, actually. Um, I had sex with a girl in that apartment that building. Then no one asked. <laughs> when I say girl. <laughs> she was a woman. I'm sure. I have yeah. no doubt. It was either that one or that one. It was one of those, no, that's a parking structure. That, that was a different girl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't point to anything. I only, I really did bring it up to Where are you from originally? Uh, Houston, Texas. Oh. Woo, really? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's you, a big city. That's it's not... funny, you don't come across as your uh, typical Texan to me. <laughs> they probably say that down there too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did, you find it, did you find it difficult growing up in Texas with no, their... Uh, with, uh, not at all. And in all seriousness, Houston is uh, so large as a city. It's a, it's a big city in the United right. States. And... Um, there's so many, <laughs> that sounds bizarre, doesn't it? Um, but there's, because of that, there's so much to, to do. Uh, Are you working for Houston? I know, I sound like I'm advertising. <laughs> My point was that, <laughs> you know. the greatest city in America. No, 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 no. But I was doing theater, I wasn't doing football. Uh, football was obviously more popular. But, but there's enough people there that, um, that I, I, I had my group. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like here. I hear you. Now, what about uh, the theater? What were you doing in the theater? Shakespeare? That I kind did of do some Shakespeare. Sure, yeah. Shakespeare, Beckett. Uh, what I Shakespeare mean, really? did you do? Oh, God. I did uh, As You Like It. I've been in productions of um, uh, Henry something where they went to war. <laughs> I did not have a big part in that. <laughs> Henry, Henry V. That's Henry exactly right. Where they go to war, I think I've yeah. been in Henry V a couple of times. Yeah, or the little known Henry the Twelfth, which is hilarious. Oh, yeah. yes. They're that's, not sure he wrote that, probably. No, no, they're not. But that's the one with the hilarious cooking scene. That, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they throw things. Yeah, yeah. And, hey, do you know what they used to eat in Elizabethan England? Swan. I mean, do you believe Are that? Are you kidding? No, they would eat swan. Mm. I know. Can you imagine? If, if Bjork, in her mm -hmm. Oscar dress, oh, God. were wandering around yeah. Elizabethan England, she would have been considered a delicacy. Be <laughs> well, that's interesting. I don't consider them birds with a lot of meat on their bones. Oh, so. no, au contraire, my friend. They're, yeah. They are delicious poultry, if a little gamey. You know, you, speaking of this, you have mentioned before, yes. see, I've watched, oh. um, that, um, that uh, ostriches kill a lot of people. Yes. This yes. is true. It is true. I don't, I'm not doubting you, per se. I just, I'm doubtful of the, it's weird. <laughs> Is it I, I'm not saying so it's fast? not weird. I'm saying the ostriches are not our friends. The cud the idea oh, of the cuddly ostrich who's, who's the friendly next door ostrich, mm -hmm. that's a myth. <laughs> that's a myth. Propagated by who? I mean, who's ostriches. spreading it? Ostriches! Oh, God. <laughs> ostriches okay. and ostrich interest groups. Okay. All right. All right, all right. They run very fast. They're this very, right. very fast. That's why they can kill people and get away with it. That, well, I was... <laughs> I was going to ask if there was a connection. They also, they bury their head in the sand, correct? I don't know if they actually do bury their head in the sand. They'll bury your head you're in the sand after me, they kill you. You're going to tell me that they kill people frequently, but that you're not so certain about this thing that they bury their head in the sand? Right. That's, the, that's for sure true. Oh, no! We're 
Where did you pick it up? The Google machine? No. No. <laughs> I, uh, that, that one I've heard a lot. You were the first one I heard about. Hey, the I heard I was with. dating Sharon Stone. What's your oh. point? I don't know what to say to that. I mean, no. I really don't. No, no, I... No. I, I, <laughs> I didn't I, write it. I guess I can tell you that no, much. No, no, Or I, read it. I mean, I, you know. No, I, I, wrote it. I wrote it, actually. I put it in my blog. I'm going to Google you when I get home. Really? Oh, sure. Why not? Are you a big no. on the Google? Do you go on the Google? Um, yeah. I, I, we're not huge on the Google. I do a lot of... Uh, um, we talk a lot about science on our show. Mm. And, uh, it's a good I don't show, know. by the way. I, I Thank have to you. that. Isn't it? Very, Thank very you very fun, much. Yeah. It's fun to do. Um, but I, I have to do a lot of looking up to see what certain scientific terms mean because they mean nothing to me at first. Right. Right. Unless they're obvious. And even then, I got somebody asked me, actually, do you really know what the Big Bang... I, I, there was a big bang in which the universe created the universe. Uh, 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 uh. No. No. Uh, uh. Depends on well, who comes into the White that's, House. I have no. I'm letter. not trying to take a side on the issue. I am trying to tell you what people who believe in the big bang. Just, would just making think. sure the theory is, you know, just making sure everybody's happy because I believe what you believe, America. <laughs> I think this has been a resounding success. I think do you should you? come back here a lot. Uh, well, I, you know, I... That, I really do. I really do. I a lot. You gotta go. Good passes, everybody. We'll be right back. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? So long, kitten. <laughs> Godspeed, Tiddles. Godspeed. <laughs> All right, what did we learn on the show tonight? Uh, we learned, um, well, I've got a new cup. There we go, we got a, I got a lovely new cup. That was nice. And <laughs> we learned that you can get a clip of your dream on TV. <laughs> Look out for more of that. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, what are you going to do now? <laughs> well, what? It must be like, what, 137? <laughs> Time for bed. <laughs> or an infomercial. <laughs> Well, I, I'll be here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, see ya. <laughs>